Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the adiabatic mixing of two air streams. So, let's get started. For that, here I will draw a diagram. Since it is adiabatic mixing, here we are having an insulated chamber. And since it is insulated, the amount of heat transfer is zero, either from the air to the surrounding or from the surrounding to the air, then one of the air is entering from here. at state number 1. Now this entering air is having a temperature or I can say the dry bulb temperature as T1. Then its specific humidity is W1 and its enthalpy is H1. Next there is another air which is entering at second point. at state second. Now this air is having the dry bulb temperature as T2, specific humidity W2 and enthalpy as H2. Now these two airs would be mixed and at the outlet we are going to get the third air which is the mixture of the two at state 3. Now this air is having the dry bulb temperature as T3, its specific humidity W3 and its enthalpy as H3. So for adiabatic mixing of air streams, the condition which I can write over here is from energy balance. The air which is entering at point 1 would be having the mass flow rate in terms of m.1 kg per second, air 2 is m dot 2 again kg per second and this mixture air would be m dot 3. So basically from this energy balance m dot 1 plus m dot 2 is equal to m dot 3 that is the mixture is the addition of the amount of air which are entering. Next at the same time I can say that the condition which has to be used is also m dot 1 into enthalpy h1 plus m dot 2 into enthalpy h2 is equal to m dot 3 into enthalpy h3. Next instead of m dot 3 I can write m dot 1 plus m dot 2. So therefore H3 gets multiplied and this bracket is opened. Now bringing the terms of M1 and M2 together. So here we have M.1 H1 minus M.1 H3 is equal to M.2 H3 minus M.2 H2. So M.1 can be taken common. Here we have H1 minus H3 m.2 can be taken common so we have h3 minus h2 now therefore m.1 divided by m.2 is equal to h3 minus h2 upon h1 minus h3 so by using this relation suppose if we know the ratio of the amount of mass of m1 and m2 if this ratio is known then we can calculate the enthalpy of the air which is mixed that is h3 by using this formula next by using the similar concept like i have used for enthalpy 
we can also get the formula for temperature difference and that can be written also in the form of the ratio which would be m dot 1 by m dot 2 is equal to instead of enthalpy I can write the temperatures which is T3 minus T2 upon T1 minus T3 and the approach would be similar like I have used for the enthalpy that is once we know the ratio of the amount of ratio the amount in which the mass is mixed and initial and final conditions are known we can get the exit temperature of the air which is mixed that is T3 can be calculated from here and similarly the relation can also be expressed in the form of specific humidity that is m dot 1 by m dot 2 is equal to w3 minus w2 upon w1 minus w3 by using the same approach as in enthalpy so by using this relation we can get w3 that is if the ratio of mass is known and that would be the specific humidity for the outgoing air now how to plot this process on a psychrometric chart that I'll explain by drawing a rough psychrometric chart so this scale is indicating specific enthalpy unit is kilojoule per kg here we have the dry bulb temperature of air on the horizontal line and here we have the specific humidity denoted by W on this vertical line unit is kg per kg of dry air and now how to plot this process over here suppose the air which is entering is at a higher temperature and for that plotting a light vertical line showing dry bulb temperature of air 1 then after that the air which is entering at point 2 suppose it is having a dry bulb temperature which is much lower compared to dry bulb temperature of air 1 so here we have TdB2 then next in order to get point number 1 over here we should have either the wet bulb temperature or any other property like for example relative humidity if the relative humidity is known for point number 1 RH1 then at the intersection of dry bulb temperature and relative humidity I will get point number 1 similarly for air which is at the second condition now suppose its dry bulb temperature and relative humidity are known this is RH2 the relative humidity curve for air second entering at point 2 see we can have any other property as well it is not compulsory that we should have only dry bulb temperature and RH we in order to get any of the points we should at least have two properties so remember this point next joining 1 and 2 with the help of a line and as I have explained how to get the dry bulb temperature for the mixed air for that we would be using this formula and once the dry bulb temperature is known that dry bulb temperature would be projected up on this line I am just showing it with an example that this is dry bulb temperature TdB3 for the mixed air and this will give me on this line state 3 that is for the mixed air and the process is it can be explained in this way like air which is at a temperature higher than air at 2 so here the air is entering from point 1 and this air which is at state 2 would be moving in this direction both would be mixed air 1 is having its mass flow rate as m dot 1 air 2 as m dot 2 when they get mixed at point 3 the mass flow rate is m dot 3 which is the addition of both the masses and here we get dry bulb temperature for the mixed air once we know the dry bulb temperature we can get the remaining properties by plotting the lines for example 
horizontal line would be plotted and here we can get the specific humidity for this mixed air denoted by W3 then we can plot the specific enthalpy that is 0.3 onto the specific enthalpy scale in order to get its specific enthalpy for the mixed air and after that we can also get the RH value that is the relative humidity for the mixed air. So in short that was an explanation regarding the adiabatic mixing of two air streams. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.